Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate this. We are in the middle of a three-game marathon right now, potentially four, depending on how much time I have. Right now, I'm just trying to practice and see if I can keep how well I can keep it going. I want to see if how long I can go before I drop, so I guess we'll see what happens, right? My name is Ninja Chris, and this is Ninja Chris Cast over on Twitch. I've been, I've been casting for a, roughly two weeks now. I've been picking up pub games over from the Dota 2 Cast It area on Reddit, which is always a lot of fun. And I'm actually really excited to say that. Fortunately, I was actually given a, a, I was given a casting position for the upcoming eSpot tournament coming up on this Saturday and Sunday. So if you would like to watch some actual amateur tournament matches going on, I would highly recommend you check it out. It's going to be casted right here, not on my account, I should say, but it's going to be over on Twitch TV. As well as in-game, if you want to purchase tickets, only 99 cents. Like I was saying, you can easily sell a couple of rares and pay for that ticket. You'll be helping out some great amateur teams and get some great games. You're going to have at least 128 games going on because there are 32 games a day. I will only be casting Saturday and Sunday. Or excuse me, I shouldn't say that. I will be making. I will be doing marathon casts on Saturday and Sunday, but they will be for games already played, simply because of the time zone different difference. It is going on over right now, and well, it will be going on tomorrow in Luxembourg. Hence the the difference in time zone. I'm on the West Coast in America right now, and. Yeah, if you want to check them out, I would highly recommend you do so. Purchase the ticket. Like I was saying, it's the eSpot tournament, e-spot. It is in the Europe section. Also, if you want to check out the Twitch channel, it is at twitch.tv forward slash e underscore spot and e underscore spot two. I will be hosting on e underscore spot two. So check that out. Um, otherwise, if you are not interested, totally cool. Check me out. I mean, you're already obviously checking me out right now on Twitch. I would love some extra subscribers. I actually just had one, and I was actually really excited. So, uh, Nix at Night is following me on Twitch. You are my very first follower that is not a friend or relative, so that's actually really cool. So, thank you very much, Nix. I appreciate that. Um, anything you guys are interested in, anything I could do better, anything I and doing well or need to make uh, need to fix let me know hit me up in, in twitch chat i've got it running right off to my right right now so i'll see everything that you guys are talking about which is great i would love the feedback i love the information or you can let me know over in the reddit post which is obviously how you found me whatever you want to do shoot me a message something just let me know how i'm doing that's all i really ask otherwise we're going to go ahead and start into the next game i've got it loading right now so uh, once again, we are one hour in. I've got roughly three hours left. We'll depend. It depends on how long the rest of the games go. Uh, nice little game coming up. It does look to be a very... This one, hopefully, if I did read the terms correctly. Yes. Okay, so uh, this one we actually have what is labeled as a very close match. So it's not going to be nearly... Excuse me. It's not going to be nearly as stompy as the last one, which are always fun. And, oh, I guess I should switch into it. My mistake, guys. Let's, this is why I do this. Okay, we are in the right location. Okay, I hit the button. I did it right. I did good, guys. I did good. So, once again, yet another all pick. These can go all over the place. We've seen, just like we saw with the last game, we saw a full five carry team on the Radiant against four and a half carries, I guess. Three and a half carries on the Dire. And the Dire were able to take it because of that. The Radiant, just way too greedy. They were down 30 kills by the end of the game, as they deserved. Uh, so, can't say I don't blame the Dire for taking it. That's just what happens when you have not enough gold to split between too many people. And especially, if you're going to try that... You've got to have a better strategy than just split up the lanes like normal. The Nature's Prophet tried jungling, and he was able to give himself an early Midas, but ultimately, that's just not going to work. you got to have a balanced lineup. Even in these standard all-pick unranked games, try and be a team player. Have somebody go support. So, 
And we just had Pro Spetsnaz following me. Thank you. You're the man. I love this. I have two new followers. I'm I'm giddy right now. This is too cool. Uh, maybe one day I'll, I'll break the double digits, but Duh. that is probably not going to be today. Now that we got the game up and running, let's take a look at everybody's setups. All right, camera's working. Chris is happy. Actually, I guess I have. Prepare I gotta for wait battle. a little bit longer. On the radiant side, we actually have a tinker as Kiwi. We have Avant Guard. We we just we just saw that name last game. Maybe I could be wrong. On the Sand King, we have the Dark Seer as Potent Scrotum. I'm just gonna call him Potent. We have Last Melon as the Marana, and we have on the Shadow Demon we have Kettle Cup. On the dire side, we have another gyrocopter. We have life. We have a Skywrath Mage as Bastard. I hope you'll forgive me for not calling this up this name. I do try and keep this as family friendly to the thousands of people who obviously watch battle. this. We have 840 Blaze on the Carl Invoker. And we have Cabbage running as Nyx Assassin. And finally, ooh, I like Earth, Earth Spirit. We're going to see I Will Kick Your Cuckoo on the Earth Spirit. <laughs> Love that name. Next up, for those of you who have followed me once in a while, I love checking out to see if who, who picked up couriers and who picked up the wards. So we have a nice little... The battle begins. I haven't seen that one before. It looks like a little fishy. And we have the cute little panda on the side of the dire. So fortunately, we do have couriers. Sometimes on a rare occasion, you will not see a courier. These are, in fact pub games and we even have the aggressive uh, ward stopping out the jungling Nick the sand king very well played glad to see that early aggression coming from the dire uh, however very interesting wards up on the on the radiant side very aggressive but I don't recall if this one actually blocks this camp um, it, it obviously has vision but I don't remember or not so either way very interesting setups here on the radiant side very early aggressive pushes. Uh, we only did see one ward dropped on the Dire. Was it the Skywrath? Actually, he's going to have a lot of aggression coming on top of him. And the Nyx Assassin forcing to help his buddy out. And he's going to take a Marana as well. This is going to be early first blood of the Sand King. Very well played there, saying, you're going to take away my farm. Sorry, but you're just going to give me a kill instead. Easily picking up a very fast 400 gold. That's got to be worth at least three or four camps. So... Not a big deal. Even we have further aggression. No, I actually thought he was pushing up another lane, but he's just pushing the... Not a whole lot else going on. Actually, we have the Nyx Assassin strangely pushing up another lane, but he's not going to get anything out of it. Uh, excuse me, on the side of the, sa the Shadow Demon, I mean. And everybody getting some levels. Everybody getting some early farm. We do have a rotation coming back into the top lane. We sh what is the Dark Seer doing? Looks like he's just going to try and stop the early lane pull especially because that's going to hurt him long term get whatever xp and gold he can out of this little initiation we have a potential fight coming here on the dot on the bottom tier lane or bottom lane we have yep here we have some aggression on top of the skywrath beach he's going to take a lot of damage especially with the nyx assassin and he, i'm not sure if he's going to get out no he's going to drop down to the marana i hesitated to say the marana arrow it was her right click arrow not sacred arrow but very well played on the Radiance on a tri lane. They're doing absolutely everything right when it comes to this lane. They're getting the fast kills. They're not even pulling the lane out, which is very interesting. So I would hesitate. I would ha have to say that just means it's very poor potential early aggression on the... Or not early aggression, but Dyer's not playing this as well as they should. They stopped the creep camps being, uh, pulling the lane out, which is the only reason it's out here. But at the same time, they're not staying back far enough to... Uh, not die. So, I don't know. Early intention. It's not paying off for the day for the dire right now, especially after giving up the first two bloods for the rating. We have some potential of, uh, return aggression coming back on top of the Shadow Deem, and Nyx Assassin doing a lot of damage, but it does look like the Shadow Deem is going to be able to get away. And that he does. He's only got about 150 health, but more than enough. And creep camp's getting stacked up here in the top lane, or in the um, the top camp, as well as even a regeneration rune. Let's see if the earth shaker, uh, earth spirit, earth shaker, is going to come in and pick it up. He doesn't have a bottle. Um, he's choosing to ignore it. Actually, we have uh, potential aggression coming in. We have actually coming on top of the Nyx assassin. He's going to take a lot of damage. Excuse me, sand cake before he takes a lot of damage. 
and continue working on the dire team. Here comes the Earth Spirit, who's actually choosing not to fight. Actually, he's going to stop the Shadow Demon. Is he going to pull back? Mm, he kicked the rock, but he did not decide to follow through. Or maybe I don't have Earth Spirit figured out yet. I was expecting him to pull that rock in, but that very well could be just not me not understanding Earth Spirit as well as I should yet. So if that's the case, I am, I am very sorry. Actually, the, the Invoker taking a lot of damage due to this Tinker. Um, not dropping, so I, I don't hesitate. I don't blame him for not initiating. Actually, he's got a bottle charge filled up now. Invoker really not having a whole lot else. He's got enough gold to finish off his boots, but he's not going to do so. And uh, I mean, what's the air going to do about it? They don't even have they don't have any rune wards right now. Uh, continue fighting. Yeah, back down to the bottom lane. Uh, actually, we have. Starting fight coming up on top of the Shadow Demon. He's going to take a lot of damage. He's going to get out. No, he's going to get taken out by the Skywrath Mage. And we do finally have our very first kill. Excuse me. So one to one. Okay, no, no, no. So, no. The Dire getting their very first... I'm confused. I'm thrown off. I... Wow. Chris is tired. Chris is hungry, actually. So, I'm very sorry. I need to quit making those minor mistakes. I apologize. Uh, everybody else just choosing to be, do a basic reset right now. We even have the trial and continuing to finish back in the bottom lane. Uh, we have the... We have three on three. Earthshaker, uh, Earthshaker. Earth Spirit coming back down to the bottom lane. Kind of juking around. He didn't have any mana, but... Actually, he's going to get spotted out by the Sand King. Who, who can still not... Uh, get any creeps. They need to deward this path. I'm honestly got surprised they haven't taken any of their money that Here they've used go. so far to get a sentry ward and just deward this camp. This is crucial. Uh, they haven't been able to pull back the lane at all. They haven't been able to get the Sand King nearly as much farm as he could. Uh, he's been he's been doing what he can with the Sandstorm. As a matter of fact, we have the Dire being ready to try and find the Sand King. And... No, actually, that's not... No fights going on there. But the Sand King just lays the should. And the Trialing coming right on top of him. And they're going to easily get it. No, they're actually not going to get the kill. He goes invisible. And he's going to get out. Very well played, Sand King. He's going to pop his bottle. He's going to get out. No problem. Dire, great try. But ultimately not going to be able to get anything out of that. It was too close. But Sand King with some pro-level jokes. Hint, hints. Jokes coming in. But he's going to get out. Not a problem at all. Um, invisibility too strong, I guess, for neither team. They're just... I don't know. I guess it's, it's it should be far more expected for the Radiant to pick up a, to pick up Sentry Wards to D-Ward than it would be for the Dire to have to pick up Sentry Wards simply for a Sand King who can only occasionally... Well, no, that's not true. true. It is a Sandstorm. He's going to be running it a lot at the beginning of the game, so I'm not entirely sure. I, I would, nonetheless, a sentry ward on either team would do both of them Double a lot of good. Damage. And we even have the invoker picking up a DD rune, and he's going to come down to the bottom lane. He didn't have a bottle, so missed opportunity. He would have full health and mana right now if he chose to come in. He's running um, cold snap. Okay, very good. And they're going to initiate on top of the sand king, who's once again going to go invisible. And we have an arrow by the Marana completely missing and picking off a, well, picking at a creep. Not even getting the kill cre uh, the creep kill. And we have four in the Dire. The Invoker choosing to back out because he's not going to be able to get anything out of this for anymore. Radiant quickly choosing to go back under the tower and making a very smart decision after that. Uh, and top in their own little world. I mean, really nothing going on up here. So I'm going to even take a look. We've got 33 last hits on the Gyrocopter and 33 last hits on the, <laughs> the Darkseer. Like I said, they're in their own little world up here. Uh, Gyrocopter doing a great job with the denies, but really nothing else. Um, just waiting for the f for a, a, a next move, I guess. Dire have desperately tried to pick off this Sand King. They know they forced him back, especially with the early game ward. They tried twice now. It just didn't work. Haste. And Skyrath Mage actually picking up a haste rune. He's going to go for a, a quick gank on top of this Tinker here in the middle lane. Is he gonna? He's only level four, so he doesn't even have the extra Mystic Flare drop to drop down. Invoker taking a lot of damage, and they're gonna start to initiate on top of him. Here comes the slow and a lot of upcoming damage, 
And the Skywrath Mage is going to be taking a lot of damage for this. Is it going to drop first for it? And no, the Tinker's going to take a lot of damage before the tower decides to try and pick out the Skywrath Mage. He's going to be okay, but just barely. Whew, that was too close, and unfortunately, they're not going to get anything out of it. Great teamwork on the side of the Dire, but didn't pay off. Back Radiance down to the bottom lane, we continue to see attack. a 3-on-2. Um, Earth Spirit really not being able to follow up on top of his Rock Keck. Radiance Actually, Nyx has has to say, no, let's go in on it. They're going to continue studying up on the Marana, and they're going to take a lot of damage, but ultimately, the Dyers are forced to take a step back. The Nyx Assassin, actually, he's potentially going to get picked off. He is absolutely going to get picked off, but is it going to be for the Marana? No. The Marana is actually going to get out with only 25 health, and she's going to pick off, uh, kick off her ultimate. This Earth Spirit just trying to get the last hit. No, he's going to get hit with an arrow and take it out by the... Well, it was the Marana arrow, but it's the Shadow Demon who's going to get the kill. Uh, Dyer absolutely turning it around. So we, we are 5 to 1 on the side of the Radiant right now. Uh, we have a lot of juking. We have a lot of great teamwork going on in both lanes right now. But everything but the uh, the little top lane. <laughs> I I don't even know what to say about these guys. It's it's like they're doing 1v1 right now. 1v1 mid. Um, I don't know what to say about these guys. If only one of them. I want to look at their levels real quick. Because all they've been doing is farming solos. So, yeah, they're both... They're, they're both close to near on, on the top of the levels on the charts right now. Yeah, they're easy, they easily have it. So, or the, the top levels. Um, I even hesitate to say, let's see the last hits. Double they both damage. have the most last hits. So they're by far, far the most fed in the game right now. And let's, even, let's see if I'm right. Net worth. Yep, I was absolutely right. They've got the top net worth on the team. Why wouldn't they? They both have highest levels. They have highest... Uh, Last hits. We have a further... Uh, no, excuse me. I thought it was two on two in the mid lane, not three on one. So, no. Um, if only one of them, one of these guys here in the top lane, would choose to even just back out, TP to the bottom lane, top or to the mid lane. And here we actually have a further initiation on top of the Darkseer. Gyrocopter getting the rest of that kill, but... Finally, it is no longer 1v1. But, uh... If only earlier in the game. It's been 11 minutes before anything happened to stop this top lane from having their ground shaken up and f at all. Uh, nothing really important going on in the towers right now, really. Nothing is down below. T actually, we have... No. Okay, so the map threw me off. I actually thought the Dyer were diving in on the lane, but they were not. Raider is under attack. So, no, no real damage going on um, on towers. We do have some uh, return, uh, I, I wanted to say return aggression on Radiant side, but it's not really aggression just yet. He's just to have a rotation is the word I'm looking for. And really not a whole lot else. The trialing forced to back. And uh, likewise, we have a Tinker who is still working on, on the teleport, on the TP boots. He's got about another thousand gold to go. So, just waiting for something to happen at this point, unfortunately. Not a whole lot else. Everybody chooses to play nice and safe. Uh, yeah, the Radiant are up. they very, very close, though. It's only 500 gold, which really is not that big of a deal. We even have uh, close to 2,000 uh, XP on the side of the Radiant. So, Haste. for obvious reasons, they do have... Actually, no. Top is up to something. I thought they were actually, the Marana was going to be able to take out that Invoker, but I was wrong. Actually, we do have some fight potential coming in. We have a call down coming in for the Gyrocopter, who's going to help out take out the... Excuse me, the, the Skyrath Mage is just simply going to drop this, the Shadow Demon, taking a ton of damage. Looks like the Gyrocopter is going to get a kill, and he does, and they're going to just back. They're not going to do anything against this Darkseer. What are they going to be able to do, to be completely in, to be completely honest with you? Gyrocopter getting the very first kill of the game for him, anyway. He works. He's working on his BKB. Very close. I believe he's only 800 gold away from that. Um, all the while, the Dark Seer is still getting his very first kill as well. So, missing top. A very even top lane, and I only mean that as the Dark Seer against the Gyrocopter. Um. Okay, so we have the Dark Seer who has finished off the Buckler, and about 100 gold away from finishing off the mechanism. So. 
Very interesting Dyer's that they chose to have a support solo attack. lane, but I guess once again, this is very carry heavy top lane, or uh, well, both lanes really. Um, nobody really playing support on the Dyer, uh, and nobody fed really, except for the oh, I'm sorry, I'm missing kills here. Nyx Assassin taking out the Marana. Very sorry, didn't mean to miss that for you guys. We do have the Nyx or the Sand King continuing to aggress. And push against this invoker who is invisible. He did ha have to, he did finally pop his invisibility uh, rune for that. Excuse me, not invisibility. His ghost walk. He's going to continue to pick up that sand king, but Dyer's ultimately middle he, tower is under attack. Little uh, slaps on the butt for both sides. Nothing really special on either side. Actually, we have further aggression coming back on from the dark series. He's going to pick on this. He's an ember spear. Can do a lot of damage to him, attack. but I is he going to get the kill? He's going to pick at him. I don't. I just don't think he's got enough damage. He's got another wall of replica coming up, and he's going to get the kill. Very easy. All he had to do was stand next to him. So well played there. Um, Dyer continuing to push into the bottom lane, and while everybody else is rotating back onto the top lane, we have three on the side of the Radiant. So hopefully the Dyer apps are going to get something out Radiant's of this. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant are up 7-3. to three. Uh, Just continuing to steamroll. Uh, th they've got a little bit of momentum, and they're trying to do whatever they can to take advantage of it. The Tinker, is he close Dyer's to his boots? Is he is very attack. close to his boots. He only needs a couple hundred Radiant more gold. He'll have that within a minute fortified. or two. Especially with this top tier 1 getting pushed. Darkseer actually rotating back down to the bottom lane where we have some fight coming in. The Nyx Assassin put, stunning him. And we have they want to fight this. They're going to continue chasing, attack. but we have a missed uh, uh, burrow strike from the fortified. Nyx Assassin. And Darkseer just pushing a little far. He's not going to be able to get picked off, but then again, he's not going to get picked Dyer's off. He's not going to pick anything off himself. Taker finally having the gold to, to... Actually, he really wants to take the Skyrath Mage out, but unfortunately, he just haven't, doesn't have a TP scroll, or TP boots just yet. He just finished that. So, we're going to see some uh, extra mobility coming in from that Tinker. Furthermore, we have an EP blast coming in with the Radiant. Or excuse me, the Dire. I guess the Radiant. And with a lot of damage coming in, the Nyx Assassin actually, or Sand King, taking out the Invoker. We're going to see further follow-up on top of the Radiant. On top of the Radiant. Gyrocopter doing a ton of damage on top of the Dark Series. He's finally going to get the kill. He wants him so but He wants him so badly, but he chooses to... No, he's going to let the Dark Seer get away. We have the Earth Spirit actually continue to work on top of the Sand King. He's beautiful blink coming away from the Sand King. Just in time. He saw the rock coming. And uh, he did a great job. Radiant's bottom tower has been all the while. The radiant choosing to back off, Tinker denying the tower, and not giving the dire any more than they've already earned, or or more than they can. They don't want to let him come back. And why would they? They've already scored a couple kills out of that fight. The shadow demon going down. The Marana going down. Was that even a vote? No, that must have been earlier in the. No, actually, that wasn't early in the fight. That was a two for one. So the dire getting the the better end of that fight. But they still have a ways to go. Radiant are about a thousand gold, really not that big of a deal, and only 500 XP. So I would hesita hesitate to say close to dead even. Demised. Only 17 minutes into the game, so not that big of a deal. And Tinker's ready to keep pushing in. He's got his bottle, he's got his boots, and he can take a lot of damage and get dropped out of the Dassin. I didn't even realize he picked up a Dagon. I'm very sorry about that. So I should have realized he was going to drop so fast. And the Tinker finally drops. Was that... Oh, it was only 300 gold. I'm surprised. I was actually thinking it was going to be a bit more. Uh, since we have a moment, I'm going to say thanks again for tuning in, guys. I really appreciate the, uh, the views. And if you guys want to give me any feedback, I would be more than gracious for it. Let me know in chat. I do have it running on a secondary stream or a secondary screen right now. The Skywrath Mage is actually going on top of the Marana. He's going to take a lot of damage to the ultimate, but he's going to drop very quickly down to the Marana. Fortunately, the Sand King helping out his buddy, and the Marana is not going to drop down to the, all the burst damage. If that Marana wouldn't have just... Rev I mean, obviously, the better move was to go back and help his buddy, but if he would have kept running away, he would have continued walking right into the Skywrath Mage's ultimate, and Sky if it wasn't for the Sand King, that Marana would have absolutely dropped first. So... Thank you very much, Sand King. You helped out your Marana get that kill. Very well played. We have Radiant. Three in the middle, actually. Continue to push back into this middle lane. And uh, Tinker, he is going to be working on his um, 
Dagon. We even have a little bit of a sneaky Nyx assassin coming back into the bottom, into the top lane. He wants to find that Mirana. If he had only a little bit more teamwork right now, pushing in that top lane right into his position, he would uh, potentially find it. But no, he's going to give himself a way to right to that tower, and he doesn't even care. He's just going to jump on top of the Mirana, who was not paying attention. Obviously, there is no way he would have seen that. He would have. Uh, Boy, oh boy, oh boy. He didn't even have the, he didn't even leap out of the position. So, Nick's uh, taking advantage of a player who just wasn't paying attention. I, nothing else to be said there. Did I see a double ward? I did see a double ward. Okay. So, uh, a lot of vision otherwise going on. Fortunately, we do have three wards. Four wards. One, two, three, and four up on the side of the Radiant. Great job, supports. Well played, Radiant, for those ward coverage. And we have return initiation on the bottom lane for the Radiant. We have three teleporting in. We have the Sand King with the Blink Dagger. He's got his ultimate up, and we even have a model. They want to get some kills. Let's see if they can return some damage on top of this Nyx Assassin. He's going to take a little bit of damage before they decide to return in after. But otherwise, Darkseer way out of position, and he's going to try and get the hook. But unfortunately, the Gyrocopter is going to drop a BKB, and... That's all they really want. Uh, they choose to pop, the, they force the BKB. That's his nine second, or excuse me, that was his 10 second, I believe. It would drop down to his nine second at this point. So, um, Dyer's we hit some great rotation on the side attack. of the Dire, but that only really because the Radiant, just the Darks here, just way too far out of the, in the middle of the field. And we have yet another, I, can I call it a sperm arrow? No, I want to keep this. I'm going to keep this family friendly, family friendly, but we are all thinking it, let's be honest. This is this did come from Reddit, after all. March of the Machine initiation with the Tinker. We have all five on the Radiant. They want something. They're going to blink up on top of the three of them. Beautiful vacuum coming in. They're going to get three kills out of this. Great job, Dire. And there goes the Earth Spirit. There goes the Nyx Assassin. And there goes the... We're waiting for it. The Invoker will drop down. Very. No, he's going to... He's going to... Is he going to blank? He's going to get out. He's going to get out. Beautiful plays on the Invoker. He's just going to juke his way out. He had the ghost walk and he got him out of a very sticky situation. I, I could have sworn the, the Radiant were going to get three kills out of that. So, great job, Radiant. They went up from 9 to, uh, nine to 11 kills. And they're going to easily push in this lane because of it. Uh, not not choosing to do anything else. I'm actually a little surprised that they didn't choose to push in on top of this tier two. Nonetheless, the uh, three on the dire forced to stick back in the base. If the radiant were actually working together a little bit strongly, stronger, they, this easily could have been a tier two. At very least, it would have taken half of its damage before they chose to back out. Nonetheless, they got two kills out of that. I would have liked to have seen a little bit more of a reward for their beautiful work, but they did not choose to follow up. And uh, Tinker choosing to continue initiating in the middle lane. Does he have his Dagon yet? He does not have his Dagon. So I guess he's just still waiting on that recipe. Or at least he's uh, waiting for the thousand gold for the... Um, what's it called? The Intelligence Staff. Nonetheless, they're going to get a tier, two, uh, tier 1 mid out of this. Unless the Nyx chooses to deny, are they going to get the deny? Invoker does get the deny. On it. So great denied. job. We do have a Marana ultimate. Stopping everybody completely biffed uh, Mystic Flare coming out from the Skywrath Mage. And the Dire actually want to continue initiating on top of this. Especially with that Marana. And he's going to get the kit. Invoker getting the last hit on the Shadow Team. Big huge play coming in from the Vacuum. And they're, continue picking, they're going to continue picking on them with the Dire side. Three dropping down on the side of the Dire. Beautiful the Vacuum helping out on the side of the Radiant. Giving him a solid three kills out of that and they're going to continue picking on top of this invoker who's going to drop once and for all D darcy are getting that four kill and now are the radiant actually going to push in like they should they've got a beautiful team wipe oh a near team wipe the gyrocopter is just choosing to back up i mean i don't know what else he's going to be able to do about this he's got i don't know maybe he can stop he can slow them down with the bkb charge but i wouldn't say they'd be worth it Darkseer blowing his, his uh, vacuum. And they're going to continue initiating on top of him all the while. And he needs to play safe. And he's going to get four staffed out. He's going to have 51 health to his name. Skywrath Mage popping his ultimate, doing half damage, but ultimately not enough to actually care about. 
They're going to continue initiating on top of this Dark Seer, but I hesitate to say it's going to matter. Uh, Skyrath Mage Flare is still coming in, and he's just going to take the damage. Really no big deal. And the Nyx Assassin actually continuing to spout, uh, scout out the Shadow Demon. He's going to take a lot of damage, especially with the Skyrath Mage helping him out, and the Nyx Assassin is going to take out the Shadow Demon and get a nice little 281 gold. And uh, they're going to continue initiating on potentially this Marana. And she's going to juke him so hard. Um, I say juke as in like... I say it rhetorically as in... Or not rhetorically as a joke. Very, uh, there's still some strange aggression coming in on, you know, both sides. They kind of be... They're rotating on uh, who's going to be initiated first. And the Sand King's going to drop. Sorry, Marana. Your ultimate was a little too late. And the Dire, if they don't... If they uh, play this just right, they might even find the Marana. She's only got a couple seconds, maybe five more seconds on her ultimate. And uh, nothing else. Dire continuing to get their nice little picks here and there. They're still down five kills, but, I mean, look at the towers. Really, nobody's ahead. Radiant's middle tower Radiant have got attack. two kills. I, I, I should back that up. Uh, I take it back. So, five kills up on the Radiant side. Uh... They've only got one tower. And the Darkseer is actually going to drop uh, kill, uh, drop off the Skyrath Mage. And we have further aggression coming in. They got one kill. They want two. They're going to they're gonna get a little bit of a stun from the Nyx Assassin who did stun two. Beautifully played. Earth Spear continue to push him back. But really nothing else. We have the Nyx Assassin up on a level two. Level two Dagon. Actually, I'm curious where the... Uh... Okay, so Tinker's got himself a nice little level one Dagon. That will continue to snowball. He's got himself a enough gold for a second one very soon. But uh, really nothing else going on right now. Uh, we have the Radiant pushing Radiant's in, but only two of them. Three attack. of them are actually in the bottom lane right now. And Dyer choosing to come back and uh, slow him down a little bit. Nyx Assassin ready for some blood. He's got himself a nice little ready, uh, level 2 dagger ready to go. <coughs> Shadow Demon spotting him. Thank you for the things to the Sentry Ward. And even dropping some dust on top of him. Nyx Assassin already dropping off his spiked carapace. Who's so going to take a lot of damage. Not before the Invoker takes out the Shadow Demon. Earth Spear continuing to harass. But again, to harass to return. He's going to get picked off. Very. If he's not careful, he's going to boulder himself right into the into the wall. And the Dark Seer is going to get the kill on top of him. And the Radiant's not done. They're actually going to take the Dark Seer. going to take out the Skywrath Mage right before he... Actually, he's very close. He does get out. Okay, I, I, I missed him running away. Radiant continue to push in their lead. And they're going to continue to... They're going to do exactly as they should. They're going to push in the tier 2 mid. And they're going to get themselves a nice little kill. Uh, tower. So, two t three towers down on the side of the Radiant. Or, excuse me, on the, on the side of the Radiant. The Radiant have taken out three towers. And uh, I will always say a tier 2 is better than tier 1. So... Well, Dyer's for obvious reasons, I shouldn't attack. say that's anything new. Set in stone. So, I just realized I might be talking a little too loud, so hopefully I moved my mic Dyer's out a little bit. I'm going to try and calm down a little attack. bit. Hopefully I won't be as loud. Nonetheless, very proud of the Radiant. They're taking, they're taking the advantages they have. As soon as they get the kills, they're earning Dyer's the rewards that they should be. They're even rotating about out of the top lane, and they're going to force the Marana back, but I, they... Uh, they don't know that there are four Radiant up here. If they play this just right, they might even get an Earth Spirit pickup. And they're going to try and initiate. Uh, they even have a vacuum up on top of him. He's going to take a half damage. He's going to drop down low. In fact, the Marana is going to drop on top of the Skyrath Mage. She's going to get picked off by the Mar uh, The Invoker is going to pick him off first, though. And they're going to return initiation on top of the... Hopefully, the Nexus, the Sand King taking out the Skyrath Mage, so one for one currently. They're going to continue pushing in, especially with the Darkseer, who did pop a BKB charge. And uh, further aggression right on top of the Shadow Demon. Dire desperately wanting kills. They're, they're smelling blood. And they are going to get the hit from the Gyrocopter hit. And we have... No, we have a, uh, the um, Darkseer ultimate coming down, helpfully, uh, helping take out the Earth Spirit. And they're going to continue pushing into the lane. So even though the Dyer were down two kills, the Radiant were just too freaked out. They, they completely backed out. The problem is the Radiant chose to split targets. They had the initiation. They had the opportunity. They had the Marana ult. And they split up the targets. They, the Marana went after one, while the rest of the team went after another. And it ultimately cost them two for two. So 
Radiant not making the best choices, but they could have easily, they could have taken maybe another three or four kills and then even another tier two, but they need better communication. They need to work better on single target picks, especially with that Earth, shape, Earth uh, excuse me, uh, Darkseer. Uh, he's doing some great jobs with that vacuum into the wall of replicas. He's not doing a bad job. He's doing a great job. But they need better coordination, and if they do this just right, they might even get entire team wipes. We haven't seen it. It will happen. I hope. We'll see. Dyer doing nothing but really backing out, getting the whatever kills, and, uh, whatever right clicks they can. And uh, yeah, just waiting right now. But all to go right. Uh, we're waiting for a little bit extra aggression. Potentially going to happen on the side of the Radiant because, I mean, let's face it, we've seen it this entire game. Did Wraith King? No, or I thought Wraith, uh, Skyrath Mage just picked up a Dagon. We have a level, we only have a level 2 Dagon right now. Where did the other one come from? Was it Nyx? Nyx, Nyx, Nyx picks up a level 3 Dagon. Uh, I could have sworn, okay, no. I'm going crazy. Chris Radiant's is top crazy. top tower is under attack. Yeah, I could have sworn I, th I, I thought I saw somebody else pick up a Dagon, but it must have just been an upgrade. Nonetheless, if they're not careful, we're going to see a lot of initiation on top of two. We have all five here in the Radiant, or four in the Radiant. Dropping down, we have a call down on top of two, and we're going to get a lot of damage on top of... We have BKB's pop, so ultimately not a whole lot else going on. Once again, a lot of confusion and split targets. We do have the Marana helping stun down uh, the Skyrath Mage, but the Dark the Shadow Demon is going to pick up the Shadow Copter. The Shadow Seer picking off the Skyrath Mage, and we even have Nyx Assassin picking off the Sky the Sand King. So two for two. I mean, Marana's just off in her own little world. She's doing exactly what she did in the last team fight up here in the top lane, where she just decided, you guys pick on you, you the the four of you pick on one. I'm in a Yolo mode. I'm going to jump out of nowhere on top of somebody else who isn't expecting it. And I don't know what's going through her head right now. She needs to be part of the team. Um, their team is, I mean, it can't, they can do a great job working on an entire team. But they're not. The, the Darkseer's vacuum into a wall of replica, they're not doing it on a multiple player. Or they're not doing it onto multiple people right now. They're doing it on single targets. And because of what Darkseer and the rest of the team are running... The Marana is nowhere near that. She's away off in her own little world. So that needs to stop. They need to get everybody... They need to figure out a way to get the entire Dire team clumped together, vacuum them up, drop the Wall of Replica, drop the Skyrath... Or excuse me, Skyrath's on the other team. What am I saying? The Shadow Demons stuff. And uh, I, I don't know what else to tell you. The... What, what is it called? Is it Soul Catcher? Shadow Poison is what I'm looking for. Um, get two. Get three. Work on the, the small uh, small team groups. Don't work. Don't wait for the five. And Marana, for the love of God, work on the team. Or work, 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 excuse me, work with your team. Stop going after the picks. Uh, nonetheless, she's, she's working on her Desolator. And she seems to be very close. We even have an Earth Spirit threatening the Marana, but ultimately doing nothing else. Pro plays, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, <laughs> showing off his mighty boulder. Uh, do I hesitate to say the joke? The Earth Spirit says, Hey, Marana, let me show you my rock. And uh, really nothing else. We do have two in the middle on the dire. Actually cho choosing Radiant's to do a great job of pushing in that tier attack. one. Finally getting a easy Radiant's little peck. Middle tower has fallen. And uh, nothing else, really. We have... Okay, Darkseer rotating back into the middle Dyer's lane. We have four. Is under attack. We would have four, but the the Shadow Demon, I guess he must have TP'd to the wrong lane because he came into the middle lane and then he went to the he went back home. Or maybe that wasn't him TPing. Nonetheless, they're actually going to get spotted out by the Dire Sentry Ward, so everybody in the Dire doing a great job at backing out. Nonetheless, the, uh, the arrow coming in and picking off the creep. So, <laughs> hilarious. Um... Nonetheless, beautiful wards coming up on the side of the dire. Very uh, fortunately, pick uh, finding the Marana ultimate, and uh, nothing else really. A lot of vision giving off the entire radiant team. Sorry guys, but just not your day there. Nyx assassin is that level three? 
It's level 4. Ooh, I love Dagon, though. Dagon is one of my favorite weapons, probably because I'm a massive nub. Uh, so, nonetheless, just waiting for uh, a little bit further aggression. We might even have it. We do have four on the Radiant side here, and the Nyx Assassin spotting him out. Uh, he's... I would not go in on that, buddy. Fortunately, he does spot the rest of the Radiant team, so he chooses not to go in on top of them. The Dire actually coming to back his buddy out. Back his buddy up. They're down nine kills, but fortunately, they're not ready to give up anything right now. They do want to fight. They're going to initiate on top of the Marana, and uh, she's going to jump out, but really not a whole lot else. Uh, very interesting plays coming up from the Nyx Assassin. BKB charge being popped for no reason on the Darkseer just yet. She's gonna, they're going to vacuum in just a Gyrocopter who also popped a BKB charge. And they're going to continue initiating on top of a Darkseer. The Skyrath Mage absolutely blowing up the Shadow Demon. Very well played there. Uh, they're going to continue to do what else? We have... I'm waiting. Where's the rocket? Oh, there's the rocket. It's going to keep chasing in on top of a sca the Sand King. Who's going to get knocked up into the air? If they're not careful, they're actually going to get the... Okay, so they're going to continue working on the Tinker, and he's going to get blown up. Earth Spear taking the kill. And as a matter of fact, we have a reinitiation coming in from the Sand King. He's going to take up two before he gets picked off on the Skywrath Mage. Wow, great return kill on that Skywrath Mage, pulling out a massive amount of gold. About 700 gold, I hesitate to say. Beautiful play by that Sand King. Just going in and getting a nice little two kills before he dies. So... Well played, Sand King. Great job. Uh, Sand King, what are you working on there? Veil of Discord. Okay, so he's actually working on pipe. Am I... I thought the Veil of Discord built into a pipe. Nope, that's what it defines. My bad. Very sorry. Um... To have more than one, if any, viewers going on in the, in the channel right now. So thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, we're going to be going on for a couple more hours after this game. See how long my voice will last. Try and see if I can keep it going. We even have a Dark Seer picking up a nice little uh, Aghanim Scepter. So love that, actually. Uh, okay, so I didn't know exactly what it did for the Dark Seer, but it increases the illusions. Does it not increase the cooldown? No, I guess it doesn't. Um, I don't know. I don't know if that's really necessary right now. I don't know what they would get. Invoker taking out the Marana thanks to the Nyx Assassin. Sorry for missing the kill. I need to stop uh, analyzing things and look for the kills. But uh, we actually have some return aggression coming back on top with the Darkseer who's way out of position. They're going to try and work on this Nyx Assassin who's going to take a little bit of a stun and... Uh, I think he'll get out just fine. Actually, we have uh, the Wall of Replica dropping down, but really not a whole lot else for, on either team. So we have a return initiation on both Radiant's sides. If we're not careful, we're going to see two drop on the side of the Dire. We do see the Invoker, but the Nyx Assassin's actually going to get out. Not a problem. Very handy. Nonetheless, the Earth Spirit actually choosing to come in, and he's just not going to find anybody. He tried. He's going to help out his Nyx Assassin buddy right as the Tinker chooses to teleport Dyer's out. Dyer's bottom tower is under so, attack. Dyer choosing not to work on the creep wave. Maybe they're looking for a Shadow Demon pick. Not entirely sure. Actually, the the Invoker is going to... No, he, that Shadow uh, Skyrath Mage is actually going to drop down to the Darkseer. Thank you to Dyer's the Vision to the, the Fake. And the Tinker is actually going to pick up the Earth Spirit. So... Ooh, they Call down coming back down from the gyrocopter and two dropping down on the side of the radiant. So Dyer actually getting two kills out of that. The next assassin and the gyrocopter. So even though they did lose three, they actually do finally get something out of that. And we have the rocket. And we're going to have a little bit of fun following this rocket. It's going to chase all the way back to the base. And I mean, what else is there really going on? And it's going to pick up some speed, and it's going to hit Invisibility. the targets here. Uh, I don't know what to say other than, yep, ouch. No kidding, right? That did a whole whopping 
Uh, 150 health points of damage, I'm going to say. Ooh, do we have a level 5? We have a level 5 Nyx, 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 Nyx. <laughs> uh, yes, it did. You would, you knew that it hit. So, <laughs> uh, well, of course, it's a global rocket, buddy. We have initiation coming on top of the Marana, and he's going to take a little bit of damage down to twenty, uh, down to seventy-five percent health. Skyrath Mage actually doing a massive amount of damage. He's going to walk right into an ultimate. Skyrath Mage getting the pick on the Marana, and the Skyrath is starting to get big. Um, he's got so much intelligence coming in that I don't know. Uh, a lot of damage and a lot of initiation, or at least a lot of assistance with this team. So, uh, actually, I hesitate to say he's getting big. He's only 4 and 10 right now, but at least he's beginning to make up for his early game blunders. Um, I want to see where they're at with their deaths. Actually, we have a whopping 10 deaths on that Skywrath Mage and 8 on the Earth Spirit. And look at the Dark Seer. I didn't even realize. He's up 13-0. Beautiful play by the Earth, by the uh, Earth Spirit, by the Dark Seer. Wow, absolutely amazing! And he's even going to finish off his own boots of travel. Um, not sure why, other than potentially he wants to push a bunch of lanes in. Don't know what else to tell you. The Radiant, or excuse me, the Dire, just strangely out of position. The Radiant Ward are absolutely going to catch the uh, Invoker out of position, but what are they going to do about it? Uh, what else does he have running right now? He's only got a tornado. He's got his ghost walking cooldown right now. So, not really a whole lot else. Actually, we have the gyrocopter, or the tinker, excuse me, just coming back home. Being the tinker that we all know and love. Pushing in a lean, going home, blinking in. He's got his level 3 dagon, so he's still finishing it up a bit. Now he's pushing in, was it the pot lane? Where'd he go? Mid lane. We have four on the Radiant. Actually, no, because the Shadow Demon's actually going to be p taking a step back. But if the Dire play this right, they're actually going to have the jump on three. It can be five Dire on three Radiant, but no, the, tire, the Tinker chooses to back out. They're not going to initiate on them. They're not going to lead them into a, into a trap. So, unfortunately, no plays there. It's been a little bit since we got a kill. So, really just waiting for that. Uh, waiting for some aggression. Ooh. Gyrocopter finishing off a, a satanic. Interesting. What's he even got his? And Tinker finishing off level four Dagon. Where is the gyrocopter? Where is the gyrocopter? Okay. Strange. And we even have the Darkseer picking up uh, boots of travel. I don't know. Maybe I'm just an amateur, but I don't understand that pick. You can go ahead and laugh at me if I don't understand the reason. And maybe it's something obvious that I just don't know. But until then, it's just it's just split push potential. And Earth, Shirker, uh, Earth Spirit showing off his massive rock. There we go. So the Earth Spirit can pull in a rock. I knew he could do it. And we have the arrow actually coming on top of this Earth Spirit. But now we have some final fights coming in. Potentially, no, we actually... Everybody's playing with one another, but we have no true initiation. Actually, we're going to see the Shadow Demon way out of position. His teammates backing up, and we even see such an easy pick. We have an ultimate coming down from the shit from the Skyrath Mage, and everybody else just nuking him. And now we even see the Darks here making the same mistake. But unfortunately, the, the uh, Sky, excuse me, Sand King popping his ultimate before he gets silenced. He's going to jump into the fight, and he's actually Tinker's going to pick off the Nyx Assassin. So if they find the Sand King, which it, He's going to jump into the right position. He's going to teleport out. Beautiful play coming. Okay. Getting attack. just out of position, uh, out of sight first. Nonetheless, the gyrocopter continuing to pick on this poor little tinker who's just going to blink right out of the fight. And uh, Dyer not, just not able to do anything about it. They're going to lose two for one. And everybody else just fighting. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Or, excuse me. Everybody else just TPing out. Waiting for some potential aggression, but you gotta hand it to the Dire. As massive as they're, uh, as uh, as far behind as they were earlier in the game, they're starting to come back. They're very close. In fact, yep, I was dead right. We're only 2,500 gold difference right now, and we're dead even in the experience. So, with the Dire down um, on kills, I mean, look at what's going on. They have a tier two top lane taken. Radiance they're about to take a tier two uh, bottom lane. While it's inversely two on the radio, the dire half. Actually, they're gonna get the tinker kill. Finally, well played, Invoker. 
And yeah, Radiance bottom tower has fallen. So I mean, it, they're doing a great job. They're potentially going to come back from this game. Oh, excuse me. I totally thought the uh, the tier two top went down. So we have a tier two bottom lane on the radiant down. We have a tier two mid lane on down on the radiant, and all tier ones are taken down. So Dyer's middle tower is under interesting attack. setup. Um, I definitely think that the Dyer have the edge at this point. Uh, they're starting to snowball to a point where the radiance Dyer's top tower is under attack. Mid too late Dyer's game advantage is wearing off. I mean, let's the, the Tinker can only do so much because he's just not getting fed. He's got his level. He's got his no. He doesn't have his level five yet. Um. Oh, Nyx Assassin actually taking out the Murata, who's vastly out of position. So, Radiant desperately trying for towers, but they're just getting picked off because, I'm sorry, that was just, that was a dumb move. I didn't expect it. I did, it's not a dumb move because I didn't expect it. It's a dumb move because the Dire just have so much, uh, they, they, I guess they don't have rotation. I'm thinking of the Radiant, aren't I? The Tinker has it. And the Dark Seer. Okay, so sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I was ex I was thinking that the Dire had the rotation ability because of the boots. It is not. It's the Radiant side. And so there's my mistake. We see the Dire pushing back in on top of the Tier 2 mid, or Tier 2 top uh, lane. Top lane. If they can nuke this camp very quickly, which I'm waiting on the Invoker to do, but I don't think he can. He doesn't have Cold Snap running, does he? No, he's got Alacrity running. We have the Earth Spirit actually coming in to help out his buddy. Doesn't need it. Nix is just going to Nix it. Take out the, the Sand King. And they're going to have the the uh, Vacuum pull everybody in. They're going to assassin. But not before the, the uh, Shadow Demon takes out the Earth Spirit. I wanted to say Shadow Shaman, but that was just a mistake of the tongue. Nonetheless, Nix Assassin being able to get out of the fight, fortunately, due to the invisibility. Uh, the... The Radiant just having no Sentry Ward, or uh, Sentry or Standard Vision, I guess. So, very strange team fight. Once again, everybody choosing to split up instead of work on a standard team fight. So, very interesting. I've been waiting for quite a while now for actually both teams to just say, you know what, five man this. We can take them. They could totally do it, but they're getting way too greedy. Both teams are. They keep saying, hey, there's three here and there's two here, so if we go three and two, we can totally take them. And both teams are making the same mistake, and thus no one's getting a full wipe. If one team, I don't care who it is, I don't care if it's Radiant, I don't care if it's Dire, if they would just stick together, they could pick off three, pick off some towers, and then the potentially, depending on the scenario, of course, they could even get the other two, because neither team is committing to a five-man uh, five fight. They're all jumping all over the place. The Moran is jumping everywhere she wants to be. The Nyx Assassin is jumping wherever he wants to be. So, I, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, the, the, the two teams have great communication. They're rotating wherever they need to go. They're working together on towers. But they're not five-manning. It's just, it's very interesting. It's very strange. I would like to see a little bit more. I know because I've, I've said that a thousand times already. But... Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, give me some feedback. Let me know what I'm missing here. Nyx Assassin completely biffing his stun. And it doesn't matter. He's going to take a lot of damage. And the arrow actually hitting the Nyx. But the Murata jumping in. She's going to take out the Nyx Assassin. Very well played. Taking advantage of the opportunity she was given. And she's going to get a great little pick. Radiant up two kills. And now's their opportunity to push in the middle lane. Especially because they've got so much blast coming in. Tinker just, wow, massive level 20. Maybe I should learn these letters. I should totally learn these letters. Uh, another day. I'm not going to do that in the middle of a in the middle of a cast, of course. Sorry, I just noted that one of the computers was about to restart, so I needed to change that real quick. Or Spirit pushing everybody back. We have fourth on the, uh, on the side of the radium. They're actually picking at the Roshan, but they're choosing to back out. Actually, the Invoker choosing to jump in. He goes invisible because there was no vision within that pit. And he's just going to get a lot of vision. Unfortunately, the Radiant do have a Sentry Ward. He did manage to evade it, but he just didn't know it. I need to stop this abort. I apologize. 
Did I stop the abort? I did. for the switch to that. To restore her to the nest of thorns. <laughs> Actually, we have a Marana picking off the sand uh, Skywrath while I had to deal with the computer issue. Very sorry, guys. And we even have a nice little butterfly coming up on the gyrocopter. So that's going to work great with his... Uh, um, what's it called, Chris? Satanic. I wanted to say the Radiant, but I, I knew that was the wrong name, obviously. We have a, a return initiation by this Invoker. He wants to see what he can do on top of this Rachan, but actually the, he got caught out by the Double Sentry Wards. He's going to drop down very quickly, and there he goes. Returnatively, the Marana's going to drop. No, she's going to get out. As a matter of fact, the Shadow Demon is going to get dropped as well. We have a lot of, like I keep saying, they keep splitting on the targets. Earth Spear coming back in on top, and he's going to drop down to the Marana. Actually, yes, Marana taking out the Earth Spirit, and Nyx taking out the Tinker, and Invoker finishing off the Marana. So, lots of very strange kills. Um, three dropping on the side of the Radiant. Wait, wait, wasn't there another buyback? Invoker bought back. Okay, so we went three down on the Radiant, two down on the Dire. And uh, Dire just, I think they want to go for Roshan. Not a smart move. I mean, look at all the Radiant Wards right now. Um, Sunstrike completely off the mark. He had the right idea, but they didn't see him on the up they didn't see him on the upper ground. And they're gonna try and go on top of Roshan. He's down to a third of his health. I don't know what the Radiant are gonna be able to do about this. They've got so much vision. And they are gonna start taking out some sentry wards. But they need to hurry. I think Gyrocopter's gonna yeah, Gyrocopter's absolutely gonna pick up that road Roshan that ages. Has fallen to the dire. And we do see somehow we have some counter initiation coming back on the side of the dire, or potential counter initiation now. So much strength coming in from the dire. We're continuing to be right about an even gold graph and XP graph. This is so even, aside from the fact that the dire just picked up the Aegis. So it says it's even. I don't necessarily agree. I definitely feel like this is Dyer's game to lose at this point, especially because they have the Gyrocopter, who's getting so fed. So fed. Skywrath Mage just uh, needs more intelligence, guys. This this, this Skywrath Mage has no idea what he's doing. He needs... Um, GG, well played, Scrub. Invoker even picking up an Orc in Malevolence. Uh, Malevolence doing, looking to do a ton of mana... Jam, mana magic damage throwing in a nice little meatball and we do have four in the dire actually ready to push in this tier three mid or tier three bottom uh likewise the tinker and the marana choosing to push in the top lane but it's not going to matter and likewise because we have a return we have a tier three it's half damage as a matter of fact we have the dark seer who's pops the vacuum scaring them away but if they would just focus on the dark seer as tanky as he is they had nothing to fear as a matter of fact the shadow demon actually taking a lot of damage Dyer's top so, is under attack. Dark Seer's ultimate being popped, which only forced him out of the lane of the ultimate, but Dyer's structure. Once that drops fortified. very shortly. Uh what else do they care about? That's gonna be a down Radiant's tier three. Tower uh, I guess they were just buying time for the potential top lane. And we even have a tinker. No, no Tinker is pushing away. We're actually gonna see double tier threes. And big fights coming in on the side of the Dyer three dropping! And the the invoker actually out for a whole hundred seconds. And we even have the Earth Spirit who's about to drop as well. No, the Dark Seer buys back into the game because they're going to be able to defend the, but the top tier three, the bottom tier three. And all the while, the Tinker and the Marana actually do a brilliant work. They're able to completely reverse this fight. They may not have had the fight potential. Excuse me. They totally had the fight potential, even taking out the Gyrocopter and his Aegis. Or stopping them after he popped the Aegis, of course. And they're, they're going to get a brilliant set of racks out of this. So the Nyx Assassin being forced to buy back into the game. And there goes the Gyrocopter as well, being picked off in the bottom lane by the Tinker. So he didn't get blown up, but Earth Spirit absolutely needing to get out of the game. He needs to back out. He's going to do so. But all the while, the Nyx Assassin helping back off the Marana, who's forced to pop her ultimate. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. This is going to put a lot of unfortunate pressure on the side of the Dyer. Uh, they wanted that tier 3. They almost had it. 25 health, but that would have only gotten under the tier 3. Radiant's three players actually backing off an entire five team, a uh, five man of Radi of Dire. All the while they took the, the rack. So I hesitate. I take it back. This was not as even as I thought. 
I, I totally thought the Dyer had the advantage, but I was wrong. I was wrong, guys. Uh, nonetheless, the, the graph continued to push back on the side of the Radiant. Uh, gold, or excuse me, experience on the side of the Dyer, but let's face it, that set of racks is going to be very problematic. Radiant are absolutely going to expect that pickoff very soon on that, on that tower. Um... Maybe if a gyrocopter swoops in around the side and picks it off, or the next assassin goes invisible. But that's only a tier 3. That's not a set of racks. They've got a long way to go to balance out this pressure. And I mean hero pressure, not creep pressure. They're even further behind if they want to uh, delegate, or uh, Dyer's bottom tower is under starts attack. with an N. Uh, neglect, I guess, is the best I can think of. All of the creeps coming back in on the tier 3 because they have to take out a tier 2. They're so far behind when it comes to these towers simply because they chose to focus on one lane. Whereas the Radiant have just absolutely been picking on lanes. Likewise, we're going to see big, big fight potential coming out on top of the Darkseer who's got a late, very late uh, drop off a of, uh, BKB charge and even drop his ultimate for it. They're going to get you put it on. Uh, the Jarl Captain's going to take no damage really but he, the Darkseer going to get out no problem. We're even seeing a miss on strike. So really nothing else going on. While the Marana actually continue to take out a tier 4. Nyx Assassin come, trying to do whatever she can to... Or the Nyx Assassin do, taking a big blast from a tier... From a level 5 da uh, Dagon. From a Tinker. And Dyer's going to try and initiate on top of this Tinker. But no, he's just going to blink out. Big arrow coming in, picking on the Gyrocopter. Fortunately, he didn't hit that Invoker. Attack. That would have been a very Dyer's awkward kill. Has fallen. And where did Dyer's... Dyer's middle tower is under attack. I thought I heard Dyer... Oh, Dyer's bottom tower falls. So, was that the tier 2? I don't know. Maybe I misheard. I could have just misheard, misheard. Nonetheless, Dyer have a lot of work ahead of them now. As usual. They have no tier 2s. And a set of racks and a tier 4. This is looking so grim for the Dyer. I totally would have bet my money on him. After that Roshan pick, but... Nope, not on the cards today. So, Radiant choosing to push him back as best as they can. We got two minutes until the Roshan packs up, uh, comes back up, so it was only a two minute Roshan, or eight minute Roshan. Not a whole lot else going on. Nick's just scouting out the. Oh, very interesting. Did he have sight of that? No, it was the gyrocopter. Uh, not sure where he had the vision. But they had, oh, maybe it was that. I, I bet you 20 bucks it was just that. Uh, Nick's desperately looking for the courier. Is he going to be able to get it? He's trying. One hit. He gets it. He gets the whole kill on the, well played. Nick's assassin backing out. He's going to have to do it as quickly as he can because there's four Radiant coming up to finish this game as best as they can. They're even going to start on top of the Shadow or The Shadow Demon is going to start on top of the Invoker. And then Nick's assassin is going to even help out as well. Shadow Demon takes the kill on top of the Invoker. And they continue working on top of the Nick's assassin, but he's going to get back into base very soon. Nonetheless, the rest of the Dyer are actually doing whatever they can to push off the creeps. We even have BKBs dropped on top of the Gyrocopter, and they're going to continue working on top of the Darkseer, but he's just so tanky. And he's even got a, um, what's it called, vacuum coming in, and just a lot of return damage coming down. I hesitate. To, actually, we have uh, Skywrath Mage doing massive damage, taking out the Sand King, and the Gyrocopter is actually going to drop down to the Nyx Assassin, or excuse me, to the Shadow Demon. Nyx taking out the Darkseer. We have two down on the side of the Radiant, three down, two down on the Dire, but one of them, we have this Gyrocopter dropping down. Four down on the Radiant. Dire getting desperately what they needed, but somebody bought back was it the skywrath mage no the gyrocopter had bought back into the game so two dropping on the side of the dire four dropping on the side of the radiant and uh it wasn't even a buyback so or die back i should say is what i was looking for so i don't know they were able to get four kills out of this but only because they were really up ground i hesitate to say that they had tower support there i i don't know i don't know guys um tinker actually taking out the nyx assassin I missed it in the bottom lane. Very sorry about that. Oh, excuse me. Gyrocopter still middle tower is under attack. Still having no buyback possibility. Darkseer buying back into the game as the the gyrocopter and the earth spirit want to absolutely push in this lane. 
Um, we still have not done the single 25 damage. Come on, gyrocopter. One right click, buddy. Bam! There we go. 522. Kill fallen. secured. Actually, Dark Seed are ready to say, no, you're not getting out of here just yet. They have two Radiant coming in. Actually, they're splitting up targets once again. The Shadow, the, uh, shadow Demon do whatever it can to pick off this Earth Spirit, but... A call down coming in on top of absolutely nothing. And they're going to return initiation on top of the Dark Seeker is going to force this BKB pop. Uh, Invoker actually doing his tornado, hitting absolutely nothing, and the Dire just forced to back out. We even have a, a pickoff with the Tinker coming on top of the on the uh, top lane. Earth Spear coming in, and he's going to try and stop this Tinker, and he's going to continue stunning him up, but hes I don't think he's going to get the kill. He's just going to teleport home very shortly. He's going to try anyway. Gets the blink, and here's the... T and Invo uh, Invoker just can't find anything. Three in the dire? Just, they're coming up blank. Why Why could they? Or how could they? They had the uh, they had a tinker to deal with. So much jump. Actually, we have three on the Radiant going back and pushing into the bottom lane. They want to give Dyer absolutely no possibility on taking out this bottom Rax. Whew. Pushing 60 minutes now in the game. Tinker getting 8,500 gold. Why? I, I mean, at this point, I would have expected him to sell that soul ray and get something out of this. He's not six slotted in the least. Um, I've actually seen tinkers actually sell their uh, their bottles and get um, what's it called? Um, bloodstones. But I guess that would be different, seeing as how he has he's given away six deaths, so not entirely reliable. Um, you do it for the mana charges, but. No clue. Skyrath Mage even getting on the Dagon action. Picking up the Dagon too. Dare I say, we see more Dagons come onto the field. Big damage coming on top of the Tinker. The Nyx Assassin getting the big kill first. And we continue to see even further aggression on top of the Nyx Assassin. They want to pick on him. But they're not going to be able to do it. In fact, the BKB charge being dropped on top of the level 25 Darkseer is going to be forced to back out. We're waiting for the Marana arrow to come in and help his buddy out, but it's not going to work. Dark uh, Shadow Demon, actually. Okay, I thought that was the Darkseer. My bad. Uh, everybody else on the Radiant side getting out, except for the Tinker who got blown up by the Nyx. Um, let's Dyer's see the levels real quick. Is under attack. We have four level fives. Marana is actually very close, I'm sure. Uh, she is. She's halfway to level 25. And we see further aggression on top of the Marana. They, she does pop her, invul her ultimate. And she's going to be out for what? Roughly 30 seconds? 40, 50 seconds? Something like that. No, excuse me. 15 seconds is how long. Okay, so it's a standard 15. Good to know. Uh, nonetheless, uh, both teams just trying to play it safe. But there's so much teleport initiation coming in. They're going to jump down on the, on the Darkseer, popping yet another BKB. Is that a Brent? No, he's just doing a level 4 over and over. Or a 4 second. They're continuing to pick on this Darkseer. He's going to take a little... He's going to be focused on is he going to be able to get out? He's so tanky. Skyrath Mage absolutely missing unfortunately due to the push. Skyrath, uh, excuse me, Shadow Demon actually taking the, the majority of the day. Total 3 now. Well, aside from the Tinker who died earlier. And the, Sky, the Darkseer actually coming back to fight everybody! And the Invoker not helping his buddy! How could it be any other way? Dyer's middle tower. Oh, I get it, because the Marana chose to come back and actually work on the Ancient. And she's going to actually do some amazing Rad Dota to take it down a fourth of the damage. If they're not careful, Dyer's going to lose this right now. But no, they're actually going to work on the Marana, who just pop a, a nine-second BKB charge. And she's going to... They're going to... Dyer's going to stop him. Whew. Dyer's bottom tower is under Amazing attack. rat Dota coming on the side of the Radiant. Uh, we're pushing 63 minutes. Ah, oh, boy, I'm gonna need to get some more water after this. I don't know what to say. The Dyer absolutely are finally beginning to actually take advantage of the, uh, the, the late game potential they've had now. And it's getting them kills. But... Radiant just have the the rat split potential, and it's going to cost. It, I don't know. I, I I almost said it's going to cost them the game, but it might cost them. They're down to two thirds on the ancient heel or uh, ancient tower. It's close. 
Uh, bottom tower it's close to being taken attack. out. And, uh... Dyer, you're gonna have to get rid of that creep camp, guys. And the... The ancient's ancient getting picked at. Attack. And, come on, Nix, you're gonna have to get your little guy off. No, he's gonna ignore him entirely. Gyrocopter finally getting the pick on him. Uh, I don't know what else to cast right now, guys. We're waiting for a move on either side. We do see three on the on the Radiant actually pushing into the middle lane. So, if the Radiant can get an, can choose to work on another side of racks, which I I hesitate to say that they they haven't been, they've definitely been trying. As while the Dire have come back and just Radiant or split pushing. The Moran has been pushing the top lane while the rest of the team has been pushing either a mid or bottom lane. The Dire has nuked them. But all the while, the Moran has forced them to uh, the f to back out. So, in stone. very interesting in both teams. Wait for some a mistake going on either side. I'm actually kind of surprised. Was it the Moran? No, it was the Darkseer. I would get rid of that black ping bar and buy another one. Get, get another 10 seconds going right now. You need those 10 seconds so badly. You're tanky, but... Or at least he's he is tanking the fights, I should say. That's more appropriate. Just waiting for one last chance. Darkseer choosing to teleport down to the bottom lane. And really not a whole lot else going on right now. They're, they're both just on pins and needles right now. Neither team want to fight. But they're waiting for the other team to make them a time. We have a Marana arrow coming in. It's going to hit absolutely nothing. Very close to the Invoker. Actually, we have some potential initiation on top of the Shadow Demon. He's going to take a half, more than majority of, demand, of his damage. He's going to drop very quickly, and there he goes. Invoker actually denying a tower. What do you deny? A tier 3, maybe? He, I don't know, but... Those are fake Moranas, and they're just going to whittle. That's a lot of damage for fakes. And uh, actually, two down on the side of the Radiant. I actually missed the Sand King being dropped down. Very sorry. Uh, so much going on. And everybody else choosing to continue it, uh, just looking for picks. Marana going doing, and doing whatever she does best, which is pecking at the top lane, pushing in that lane as best she can, especially with three on the side of the Dire way on the wrong area and if Tinker can just stall him a little bit no actually we have the earth spirit pushing back and we do have a Murano era working on top of the earth spirit but not before the invoker to, to return and damage on top of the Marana. BKB's being popped that's down that's her uh, eight second charge Whew. I don't know what to say right now guys Everybody just on pins and needles. Dire more than happy to get their picks on top of the Radiant team. But unfortunately, they're not able to do a whole lot else because of it. They're so confined to the base. But ultimately, there's not a whole lot else they can do. They're working on the Gyro Cup, or the Darks here right now. And once again, Paul, it's his ultimate. And we have a Marana arrow pecking at the Skyrath Mage, attack. but there's absolutely no way she's going to be able to initiate on top of that. Invoker throwing out the uh, the tornado, and she jumps right into it. She would have missed it the first time, but how would she have known? Um, Darkseer at 6,000 gold right now. So just saving for buyback right now. That's all he can buy. Uh, Shadow Demon, strangely enough, never finishing his actual boots. Strange, but hey, whatever. Dyer's ancient is under attack. Actually, the radiant are starting to pick on it simply with the fakes. They're gonna break that back down to with a uh, quarter damage done. Dyer's ancient is under. Actually, attack. Actually, we have the Nyx assassin taking out the tinker. Beautiful play. That's a great pick off for the side of the Dyer, and they're gonna continue working on the radiant. So both teams doing a little bit of split. And we're going with that. I missed... Okay. Out of nowhere. Um, don't, know, don't know what else to tell you right now. Both teams split up. Half of Radiant choosing to work on the Ancient and get taken out because of it. The other half of Radiant choosing to split push lanes and also getting taken out because of it. So, I wouldn't say taken out. Radiant finally making the choice they should have made a while ago and actually going after Rashawn. Invisibility. Getting their sixth man onto the field. Darkseer being way out of position. 
maybe just stalling and trying to do whatever they can to push the, the Dyer to the top lane while the Radiant not going after Roshan. What are they doing? Don't know what to tell you. I don't know what this Seven vigil is. I've seen it for quite a while now, but it's very strange. <sighs> um, we're hitting further level 25s. We're halfway down. Uh, every, half of everybody on both games, or, or uh, both teams are actually hit, hitting level 25 now. Shadow Demon, the only one who's nowhere near it right now. That might be their downfall. Dyer chooses to potentially in, in, initiate on top of this. If they screw up, it's going to be the game, but... Nope, they are choosing to take a step back. Everybody playing it safe and sound, except for the Nyx Assassin, who's just spy middle tower scouting everybody attack. out. Tinker in the bottom lane of the Radiant, actually pushing in the bottom lane, but unfortunately, nothing else really going on, so we're just going to keep the action up here. We have a potential initiation on top of this uh, Earth Spirit, who... Nope. Actually, we have the Nyx Assassin, the Darks here, vacuuming everybody together. And they're going to work on top of the Earth Spirit, who's actually going to go drop it down. And a ton of damage actually coming down. One down, two down on the side of the Radiant. Darkseer doing what he wanted to do the whole time is buy back into the game. The Shadow Demon actually almost being picked off into the game. Vacuum actually picking up on top of the Shadow Demon. And he's going to be picked off. Well played. So three down on the side of the Radiant. The Marana actually being scouted for, but she's going to TP back home. Well played. Well played, Dyer. Getting three kills for only one on the side of the Dyer. But I don't know what the Radiant or the Dyer are going to be able to do from this because they're just, they're they're not, well at least, I don't know what they're going to do, not what they should be doing. I would like to see some potential initiation on one of these racks. They have the late game potential to just pot Dyer's just walk right up to one of these racks and whittle it down quickly. But the Tink, specifically the, the Tinker, um, the Tinker Dagon, I'm becoming mentally tired. I need a five minute break here very shortly, guys. Whew. Radiant pushing in the top lane because the Dyer is absolutely nowhere to be found. We have two in the bottom lane, two in the middle lane, and one on cooldown, or one on one relaxing. So, Radiant, I would apply some pressure, whatever you can do right now, guys. Not a whole lot else going on, just kind of waiting. 71 minute game uh thank you for sticking with me guys uh, i know this is a very long game i see i have three stream uh three followers three people following right now so thank you very much we see big initiation on top of the dark sea was first to force the bubble uh bkb actually the invoker is going to get taken out very quickly as a matter of fact he goes down to the dark seer and the invoker right buys back into the game the Skyrath ultimate doing absolutely nothing to the enemy to the radiant team and they're going to continue working on top of the sky the sand king and not a whole lot else. As a matter of fact, they're going to continue to try to work out some of the Rana. She's going to go down to the Skywrath Mage. Oh, and the Nyx Assassin actually getting picked up, but not going to drop mage. down. Another two down on the side of the Radiant. But they're just choosing not to reinitiate on top of it. Or at least, I don't mean to say reinitiate, but they're not pushing in the lanes. Uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Skywrath Mage, the level 5 Dagon. It is a level 5 Dagon. So we have. One, two, three, is that three? Three Dagons. Um, I could have sworn we had more, two on the side of the Radiant, but I must be confused. Nonetheless, that Tinker, now he's getting six slotted. Uh, getting close anyway, until he chooses to sell that Soul Ring and finish off that setup. But... What a long game, guys. Uh, we're hitting 73 minutes, and we're absolutely nowhere near a finish right now. And uh, just waiting. Boy, am I hungry. And I am out of water. Voice is feeling a little bit harsh, but this is exactly what I needed. is a, an attempt on a marathon run right now. Because, like I keep saying, since I've got a minute, I'm going to go ahead and talk a little bit. Thank you so much for following me. If you guys would love to, if you would love to follow, uh, follow my, or um, thank you for watching my Twitch stream. I really appreciate it. 
please give me any kind of feedback you can. To let me know in chat. I am watching right now. Otherwise, let me know on Reddit where it's a little bit more permanent. I will do whatever I can to work on it. And the reason why I'm working on a marathon play today is because I've got a... a fortunately, the, the eSpot tournament is coming up on this entire weekend, Friday through Monday. We're going to have 32 games a day. A lot of games happening. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get to stream for both the, the, the Saturday and the Sunday. So I'm looking forward to that. It's going to be a long long day for both games just just broadcasting them the matches themselves are only going to be going on for two days uh, two hours each day there are four groups each group comprising of eight teams where there are going to be uh, eight games in each day and it's going to go over the over the course of two hours each day those are how the games are going to p be played that's not how the games are going to be streamed um the games are just going to consistently be streamed over the core. Uh, they're going to be essentially late streamed, I should say. Since, because, I mean, what? There's going to be 32 games going on at a time. There's no way that two casters are going to be able to run that. So, if you want to watch the games, I would highly encourage it. It's only a dollar ticket. You can pick it up in the Dota 2 store. Or you can watch me stream my entire Saturday and Sunday away. Uh, eight hours, Saturday and Sunday. It's over on Twitch T twitch.tv forward slash e underscore spot and e underscore spot two um either way i would love the feedback it's that's the, how you can support me is by letting me know what you would like to see what i can fix what i can choose not to fix that will so once again that will not be occurring on my stream which is where you're at right now thank you very much for streaming so far after this game i do hope to get another one in but Depending on how late this game goes, it's going to be a little while. Um, hopefully, it could be a minute, it could be another hour. That would absolutely suck. But, we do have the rocket barely missing the tinker. And uh, not stunning him out of it. So, sorry, but that's just not going to work for you. Uh, we do have another Dyer's return push. Dyer's courier has been killed. Dyer's courier, I don't know why it was there. Very interesting setup. But nonetheless, the uh, the Radiant choosing to continue to push in these towers. And yeah, I would like to see some extra Brax simply for pecking off the rest of the... Uh, getting some extra uh, pressure going on against the Dire. Not to say the Dire don't win, deserve a win right now. Nick's Assassin actually picking off the Tinker right now. Dire showing that they have the fight potential. They don't have the space to fight because they have to remain at base. But actually, they're going to continue working on top of this Dark Seer, who's just so tanky. Not a whole lot else going on. And uh, Dire able to push back against this. Oh, what a game, guys. This is by far the longest game I've ever cast. So we have Initiation on top of this Marana, who's going to take a little bit of damage from the Skyrath Mage ult. She's just going to just go home and wow uh, we're potentially going to see an 80 minute game here both teams just absolutely afraid to fight why has Radiant chosen not to go after Roshan push in the lanes like you've been doing stay up here on top of the map don't go any further than that line make sure that all three of the lanes are at least pushed that far in and then go back in on top of the road and the gyrocopter finally is he going to go after the Roshan? He is. Thank you, Jesus. So, just waiting for that. Uh, we have the Dire absolutely choosing to get the Roshan. I mean, this is something Radiant should have done a long time ago. And they haven't. Uh, what is it? Three or four intended fights? <sighs> Darkseer absolutely pushing out the game. Uh, who does he unboss? No, Earth Spirit unboss. Uh, so I'm a. Darkseer unpause uh, the game. And decide, uh, Dire choosing not to respect that. Can't say I blame him. We're hitting 80 minutes. So we're getting very close to that. I wouldn't want to wait that much longer either. Roshan about to drop down. Who's going to pick up? Looks like the, the Invoker's going to pick it up. And let's see how the Roshan Radiant choose to uh, respond to, to this. They have no response. They have no follow-up. 
As a matter of fact, they're actually choosing now would have been the right time to actually push in the lane. Yes, they are. They're actually going to drop four of them in top of the middle lane. Or in top of the lane. And they're going to work on top of the Ancient. And if they don't do anything, the Dire are not going to be able to respond to this. They're doing as much damage as they can to the Ancient. The Invoker actually coming and dropping down. To, uh, um, the Dire comes is going to drop down first. He's going to buy back into the game. And they're going to continue working on top of the three. No, actually, the Tinker's not going to drop down. Yes, there you go. Four down on the side of the Radiant. And they're going to they're gonna do a lot of damage to this Ancient, but it's ultimately gonna be not going to be enough. Five dropping on the side of the Radiant. We have two buying back into the game. And <coughs> my voice is starting to get out. It's starting to go out. Very sorry, guys. I need some water after this match. But, oh, my God. We're up. We are, for the very first time in all game, we actually have up. We're up two on the side of the Dire. And a lot of damage being done to this Ancient, but... Due to the lack of vision on the side of the Radiant, they just were not able to... Uh, they, they, they had an opportunity, but they didn't know it to work on top of this Ancient. Skywrath Mage defended as best as he can. Marana... I, I don't know what to say. Oh, wow. Okay. Gyrocopter picking up his... Uh, picking up his rapier. Is this this has got to be the beginning of the end? What's he gonna sell for this? Nix is saying, okay, we actually have put reinitiation on the bottom lane I'm, or in middle lane. I'm sorry, I completely Radiant missed it. Radiant structures are fortified. And we do see the push on top of the bottom mid tier or the bottom racks against the radiant. There it goes. It's gonna drop down. There's four Radiant's down on the side of the radiant. What are they gonna be able to do about it? Absolutely nothing, especially with the Marana out of the fight. And two have returned on the side on the radiant. We actually have three Radiant's up now. Doesn't matter. The they are going to continue to push in up. It's essentially over. What are they going to be able to do about it? The Darkseer coming in and starting on top of the Invoker. It's going to take a lot of damage, but he's not going to drop down. The Sp Arspayer taking in a bunch as well. It's going to go down very shortly. There he goes down. It's going to be a buyback. I don't know for the Shadow Demon. Whew. Nonetheless. Wow. Do we have buyback possibility? Invoker can buy back, but he's making the smart move to not buy back just yet. The longer he waits, the less, uh, the better off he'll be. And whew, I'm even starting to get a headache from all this talk. Uh, not, there we go. Now we have the Earthshaker buying back into the game. Invoker waiting just a little bit longer to come back into the game. They absolutely do not want this uh, gyrocopter to lose any... He's, he doesn't even have boots anymore. Invoker buying back into the game. The, the Nyx Assassin taking out the Sand King. And they want to keep initiating on top of the Shadow Demon. He's only level 21. Actually, we have a big push coming in from the... The creeps are going are gonna to take the game! And they're going to stop him! Well played, Radiant! Dire being in the wrong place at the wrong time, not having vision on top of the... On the ancient... Wow! Oh my god. Pushing a 90 minute game. 80, 81 minute game. I don't know about you, but I... I need a break after this one. Whew! Well played both sides. Dire losing that one simply because they were in the wrong place at the wrong time. They chose to initiate on some heroes instead of actually choose to follow through on their creeps. Not doing what they needed to do. And... Wow. Thank God that game is over, guys. I need a break. I promised you guys five, uh, three games today. Um, after the short game of the first, uh, after the short first game, I was even thinking I could potentially do four games, but not after that hour, close to an hour and a half game. Um, I guess it depends at this point. It is 8.16 my time. I have an hour and 40 minutes, uh, 40 minutes until I need to be done for the day. So I may only have time for one more game. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to take a five minute break, but before I do that, let me say one more time. If you like what I'm doing, follow me on Twitch. Uh, let me know how I'm doing in chat. I've got it running right now. Let me know how I'm doing in in, in uh, Reddit, probably where you found the stream. And 
uh, let me know. I would uh, let me know what you like. Let me know what you don't like. And one more plug until I come back. Actually, no, I'll do that when I come back. I need a break. Five minutes. I will be back very shortly. And we just even jumped up to six. I'm very sorry, guys, but uh, literally give me five games or five minutes. I promise I'll be back for a third game. And I will be back very shortly. See you guys soon. Now, find a new rival. I promise you I'm not leaving, Gold Eagle. I promise I'm not leaving. I just casted an hour and 20 minute game. I need to get some water. I promise I will be back. I won't make it five minutes. I'll be I'll be back sooner than that, but I have to take a break. Otherwise, my voice is going to die on me. So, give me three minutes. I promise I'll be back. Bitch, can't wear skinny jeans, my eyes don't fit I don't even know how I write this shit Blackout, pass out, wake up my proud Like, yeah, look, my 